Hi, Deidre here from Our Upcycled Life, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can make this candle. You can put photos on candles. They make fantastic gifts, and they're so easy to create. This is a pillar candle that I've picked up at the dollar store, and I'm going to be doing custom napkins to transfer this photo onto the candle. I've got this napkin and it's only a two ply napkin. So I'm gonna take it apart because we want that bottom one ply of the napkin. Once we have the napkin all taken apart and we have the one ply, I'm putting down some parchment paper and then I'm gonna lay that napkin down on the parchment paper and put another piece of parchment paper over top and then I'm gonna iron it so it's nice and smooth. I have my iron on the highest setting with no steam. This will get all the wrinkles and creases out of your napkin. Now I've got some double-sided tape and a piece of computer paper, and I'm putting tape all around the outside of that piece of computer paper. Once I have lots of tape around the outside, we wanna make sure we're going to be able to secure that napkin really well on that piece of paper because we're going to be putting it through our printer. I press it down and make sure I get out all of the wrinkles that might be in the napkin, and then I trim around the edges. Now we're going to put it into our printer, making sure we're loading it so when it prints, it's going to print onto the napkin. I'm using a laser jet printer, but you can also use an inkjet printer, color, or black and white. I've now printed that image onto the napkin and I'm gonna trim all around the edges so it's nice and neat and tidy. My son got married in August and we have so many beautiful photos. It was so hard to pick one to do this project with, but I absolutely love this photo. You can also do quotes on the napkin, or if you just want to put a napkin on your candle, you don't need to print on it. You can just use one ply of a pattern napkin and do the same process. Now you're gonna need a hair dryer or a heat gun, some wax paper, and a tea towel. Now rip off a piece of wax paper that will wrap all the way around the candle and have some extra. Put your napkin exactly where you want it and then you're gonna wrap it into that wax paper. Now you want to make sure you're wrapping it on the waxy side on the inside. Scrunch it up really, really tight, making sure that your napkin doesn't move around. And this is where the tea towel is going to come in. It can get quite hot when you're using your hair dryer or your heat gun, so I always hold on to it with a tea towel to protect my hands. Put your hair dryer on the highest setting and then just start at one edge of the candle and just start warming up that wax underneath the candle and the wax on the wax paper. And as you move your hair dryer or your heat gun back and forth, you'll start to see that wax melt as you can see here. And that means that your napkin is bonding right into the candle. Just take your time and make sure that you've melted that wax into that complete piece of napkin. And once you're done, let it cool down a little bit, peel off that wax paper, and you have transferred that photo onto a candle. And how amazing is this DIY? I absolutely love the way that it always turns out and there's so many possibilities. So go through your stash of photos, pick out a favorite one, and try this technique. Now I don't wanna burn this candle down and ruin the photo that I've put onto it. So here's a little trick of what I love to do. I love to burn the candle down just far enough that you can put a votive in the top of it. And then you can burn the votive and you're not going to have your candle wasted. Replace the votive when you need to and you're good to go. So next time you're at the dollar store or at the thrift store, pick up some pillar candles and give this technique a try. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this one, I'm sure you'll love either of these next two videos. Take care.